Let's see how to create a report that looks like the one we have on the screen. And, and we know that we can actually export these as a, as a CVS file, get a spreadsheet. We want to have the source IP, destination IP, but we want the application that has been, that was used by those IPs. And we know that Curator from the flows can extract this information and know what type of application is because it's very deep into the interpretation of the flows. We also want to put the time and date, the number of, we, want, we wanted to count the number of uh, source uh, bytes. And we also want the asset user. We want to have, not the IP, I want to know the username who was logging at that time that this event actually happened. And we know that the asset database is, is famous for, for capturing that uh, in Curator and it tells us uh, who the actual user ID that we saw logging into a web page, Active Directory, etc. And we wanted to, to have the, the total of flows here. So uh, let, let's see the, the statement uh, to create such a search. So we do a select of source IP and we put the title as source IP, just put like that. We take the first of the destination IP and we label it destination IP. And we want from the asset database to get the application ID that, 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 that is actually being used. And we want to label that application. That's this field here. That's the date of uh, the format for the for the start time. We do, do the, didn't do anything particular here. But we just label it start time. One, one word of caution here. When, when you are going to be putting a label on a report and has a space in it, you need to uh, put it between quotes, as we're doing here, because there are no spaces in, in this particular case, we don't use the quote. We also want uh, the first uh, source byte as, as uh, a source byte. And let's move uh, ahead. And from the, and here's how we get the, the, the user ID. From the asset database, get the source uh, IP at the moment of that event and put it as under that name, source as a user. Uh, count the total of flows from flows for that particular event. And when it's not null, group it by source IP, order it by total flows in the sending order and give me that data for the last 24 hours. And when you actually click here, that's the type of reports that you actually get. You get it sorted by uh, descending order from the total flows. Notice how easy and how flexible now your report, your searches can actually be with this uh, uh, new capability of Curator. And we actually precisely save that in our searches. You can, when you have the search that you want, as we have done before, you can do you can save it wherever you want to uh, actually put it. And if you click in here, including my quick searches, you see it when you precisely do quick searches like that.